No dramas, thanks, Susie. Um, Bandy, what's the, what's, what's the emotion in the dressing room there? Was it elation, relief to snap that five-game winning stri- uh, losing streak and to do it in such a dramatic fashion as well? Uh, what, what's the feeling amongst yourself and the boys at the moment? Yeah, look, um, I'm drenched. So <laughs> the, the emotion was, I don't know if it was relief, jubilation, a uh, combination of a lot of things. Um, I think it's just... When we're close to a whole basketball team, um, we've just got Tyrell to come back now. We're, we're a very different beast, I think. Like you see tonight, like Tanner coming back in, Andrew's finding his feet, Gak was terrific, Tyler Johnson, terrific. Sobes, like, I think he had 15 in the third quarter. Uh, Baines was really good tonight. Like, Baines has a double-double in 25 minutes against a really small team that, that doesn't really suit his style of play. So. Um, you know, just Jace's leadership and maturity when he fouls out, like he's still coaching these guys from the side and, and helps me a hell of a lot. So really appreciated, appreciative of how these guys play tonight and play for each other to grind out a, a, a win against a team that's been playing really good basketball. I think they've peeled off four or five straight since we last played them here in overtime. Um, but yeah, prou- proud of the group. Uh, what the challenge is now is to reset really quickly get on a plane tomorrow and go and play Adelaide Thursday night um, you know they whooped us there about what a week ago so um, we've got some work to do in the next 24 hours to get ready to play Adelaide Thursday night uh, so it felt like tonight felt like you said enough's enough like I'm taking control here in that third quarter you really you, you, you're aggressive you attack the rim and, then, and that really set the tone for the rest of the team what What's this week been like? And especially with, with Dandy being appointed interim for the rest of the season, has that given a sense of stability um, to the group? And now that you can sort of like focus focus on the future, not worry about what, what's happened the past month? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, you hit it on the nail. It does give us that um, stability. The group really um, came into that week and took the news really well. And uh a credit to Vandy and the job he's done, even though during circumstances they were. Um, I think he did a great job of leading us and, and getting us in the right direction, whether the wins or losses um, were, were relevant or not then. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it does give us that stability and the group really um, really thrived on that tonight, obviously, after uh, hearing that and then the week of practice, um, Christmas. Um, we're really keen to, to get out and um, play a game of basketball. In your own games, Tobes, or you felt like that third quarter you really, you really took charge. Yeah, I mean, I just felt like I was getting in the right situations uh, in the third quarter. Uh, first half didn't make some shots that I would usually make, but um, was able to make some plays for others, which was more important. And um, they were like guys like Jace, um, Tyler, and um, guys like that were making shots, which was great. Um, which we we want to keep getting them guys great looks. Um, yeah, I think yeah, I think all around like we had guys just really step up. I think DJ was huge with his minutes that he came in and um, really turned the game, uh, especially in the first half. Um, and then I think Gak was massive as well. Uh, big stops down the stretch. Uh, it was just a all around team win and something we can we can really uh, look back at and, and move forward with. Sandy, you mentioned uh, so just mentioned him as well, and you mentioned him as Gak. He was. Some big plays down the stretch, wasn't it? And to get him back, I mean, Tanner was terrific as well. Uh, but Gak was, was outstanding at, at, at the end and in overtime as well. Some big plays for the big fella. Yeah. Um, you know, we put him in the game with, what was it, like Lots 23, 25 seconds left. And, you know, he switches on to Bryce Cotton, who's who's been a perennial, you know, tough shot maker in that situation. He switches on to Bryce, moves his feet, late contest, blocks a shot. Like, you know, his length... And athleticism are unique in this league. Like, there's not too many guys in the league that can do the things that he does. Like, some of the stuff he does at practice and in workouts, you just like, oh, my goodness. Like, he's, he's a special kind of athlete, and he's starting to really figure out the league and, and what his role in this team is. Um, you know, we spoke about him a couple of, couple of games ago, but, you know, had his struggles early on, um, talked to the coaching staff, was mature about it, you know, took his lumps, worked hard to, to get himself back in the rotation. You know, he plays 23 minutes tonight, six points, five boards, four blocks. Like, and uh, like, what else can we ask from him? So, you know, 
it's for him now the consistency, finding his voice a little bit more defensively. You know, the, the finishing around the rim will come, but yeah, really excited for for what he's doing and the group is as well. Like they they've shown the the joy in each other's success, which is pleasing. You know, Gak blocks that shot, everyone gets around him. DJ's O board at the end of the first half to give us a kick out three to go into halftime with momentum. Like little plays like that from our role players are huge, um, and they give energy to the group. Um, you know, we, we've been talking about a, a, a few things within the group and, and plays like that, they give energy to us and, and the enthusiasm follows that. So um, we need to continue that and the role players need to keep doing the things that they need to do. Is that a real key against that alike? The, to, and that's the challenge now is to replicate that effort that across the board to go down there and, and beat them down there. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it certainly hasn't been a happy hunting ground for us over the last two or three years. Um, it's it's tough, you know. A little bit of adversity again to back up 24 hours later after playing it, playing an overtime game um, with some some bodies which are still coming back in. Like uh, Stewie's going to kill me tonight for playing guys too many minutes, but you know it was a win we needed to get. So uh, we'll we'll look at Adelaide tomorrow. Um, PC's all over that. So. But we'll, we'll come in in the morning, walk through, you know, get some shots, get our bodies right and, and move on to the next thing. So we have to go and beat a really good basketball team in Adelaide and they're playing confident. You know, Robo's playing good ball. Cleveland's a good basketball player. Ian Clark is probably going to play significant minutes tomorrow night. So very talented team, but so are we. Like, we've got two, two Olympians on the squad. We've got Tyler Johnson, like NBA veteran, like, we're, we're a hell of a talented basketball team as well. When we put it all together, like we did for, for moments or, you know, most of tonight, um, we look good. So finding consistency and, and, and keep finding our, our way through these last 11 games. I think you got Stewie covered. You're twice his size, Bandy. Um, but what does it mean to you personally, to your, your first win in the NBL as the head coach? For you, uh, you, you personally, what does it mean? Um... Yeah, interesting question. I'm I'm kind of just happy for the group to to break out of a funk and get a win. Um, yeah, look, I, I think I said it in a in the introductory press conference during the week. I'm like privileged to be in this position to coach professional basketball. Um, how it's come about isn't you know the, your typical journey to being a head coach, um, but feel lucky every day to come in here and work with these guys, um, see them compete and and play for each other, and you know. Sometimes things go away, sometimes they don't. Tonight it, it, it went our way, so look, happy with the win. Um, but now it's like, how do we put two, three, four together um, to, to give ourselves a shot at playoffs, playing games, what, whatever it is. Like, that's not even the focus right now. It's, it's Adelaide Thursday night. Right, so that's all for me, boys. Thanks, Susie. Thanks, Greg. Any other questions? Sweet. Thanks. Thanks. Sweet.